What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Fabulous Flourish and Faith, having fun, and I'm back with another video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so when I post new videos, you won't miss any of them. With that being said, let's hop into this video. So for today's video, I just wanted to show y'all some of my quick, like, like makeup favorites because I don't really wear heavy makeup, so it's kind of light makeup. But I wanted to show y'all some of my favorites that I've grown to love, that I loved in 2021, that have come over with me into 2022. So let's get started. So to start off with, I'm still using the Glowish by Huda Beauty, the multi dew skin tint. I'm currently wearing it right now in the shade Extra Tan. So if you can't already tell, it's just something light. Like I said, I'm not explaining like how I put it on, but I like it because it's just a skin tint. It's something that's fairly easy to put on. It's not anything too complicated for me. So I really like using these. I tried a few of them, but this one is my favorite one. And I like it because it kind of just smoothed out some of the blemishes. As you can see, like you can still see some facial marks that I might have on my face, but it's not anything too heavy. It just kind of evens out my skin complexion and my tone, especially when I'm doing videos and I'm under like bright light. So that's why I like this so much. So I got this from Sephora. They matched me with my um, perfect shade. So I really, really like it. And it gives me the look that I'm going for and it gives what it needs to give, okay? So definitely pick this up or try it out if you're just getting into makeup or just want something light. Definitely give this a try. Again, this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty. And this is my shade um, Extra Tan, number nine. All right, let me get into the next one. Next up, I love using ELF's HD Powder. It works really, really well. I apply this after I apply my skin tint moisturizer. It really just kind of sets my face and it keeps it from easily transferring from my face to my mask. I mean, it still transfers, but it's not as bad as if I don't wear this. So like I said, it's just kind of like a setting powder, just sets everything in place. I got this from Ulta. I think it might've been less than $10, really, really cheap and really, really simple for what I like and what I need. So this is definitely still a fan favorite for me in 2022. These last two products are actually from the same brand. It's from LYS Beauty. I really don't wear makeup that much, so I've really kind of gradually been getting myself into trying new things. But I, when I say I love these, it really elevates my look. It's their LYS Beauty Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder in Genuine Rose Gold. And then I have their Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush Self Love. So I'm going to show y'all the back. They're really, really cute. Let me open it up. So like I said, this is the Aim High. This is the high highlighter powder. It's really, really cute. And it kind of gives me like a nice gentle highlight, which I really, really like. It's not anything too much. I love the packaging of it. It's super cute. I don't know how much these normally cost because I actually won this in a giveaway. So I never really took the time to actually look up the pricing, but they really, really work. So when these run out, I will definitely be buying some more. So stay tuned for that. And then this is the Satin Matte Cream Blush. As you can see, I've been using it. It's a really cute consistency. This is in the shade Self Love. So these are definitely two faves on my list. I really, really enjoy using these. They kind of just give me a nice little light look, kind of make it seem like I put on a lot of makeup or did a lot of work, but I really didn't. This took me maybe less than 10 minutes to do now that I got it down packed. So I really, really love using these two products. And last but not least, the Nika K Bold Lip Liner. I actually got this from my mom, so I don't know how much it costs, but this is the Bold Lip Liner. I really, really love it. Because I noticed now that I don't really like to wear like lipsticks, just a little bit of this with some lip gloss. Can you not tell? <laughs> it goes a long way and I really, really love the color that it gives. So this has definitely become a fan favorite for me. And like I said, this was not meant to be a long video because I'm not like a makeup fanatic. I just started getting into makeup. So these are just some pickups that I have picked up for me for my simple makeup routine along the way that I really, really love that I wanted to share with you guys, especially if you're just starting off like me. So definitely come along this makeup journey with me. But these are just a few of my favorites that I use to kind of put my face together that I really, really like. And it can be simple enough for an everyday like makeup routine. So it's nothing too complicated. These items are really, really cheap, but they get the job done. They do what they need to do and they give what they need to give. Okay, honey. <laughs> but that is it for my simple makeup favorites that I have grown to love in 2022 that I picked up last year that I'm still using. So I hope you like this video. Definitely comment in the comment section below if you've used any of these products 
what products are you currently using what are your favorite makeup products that you're using as of right now let me know in the comment section below if you recommend any new products for me to try out while i'm trying this makeup journey definitely hit me up and leave a comment in the comment section below because i'm willing to try and elevate this routine so definitely let me know but i hope y'all like this video i hope to see you in the next one because over here we're fabulous flourishing and having fun okay bye Thank you.